Hey guys, I'm Emily Powers, and today we're going to be painting a beach path. And you can see the picture up in the corner. Um, it should be a, more of a beginner project. So we're going to be doing it in acrylics, and this is a 9x12 um, canvas panel. It's Phoenix brand. Um, and I'm trying to... I may add... Um, a brush later but I'm not quite sure but so far I think um, the two that I'm going to use are a um, one inch bright for like the basic you know the big areas and then I'm going to use a um, like a quarter inch flat for the rest so I don't know I may <laughs> I may need to uh, add a brush or two later but we'll just kind of see as we go along um, the brushes and colors should be in the description box. If you just um, touch the arrow down, it should come up with all the supplies and everything. Okay, and then I'm also going to use an old toothbrush for like the sand. I'm going to like flick the paint on and a watercolor pencil for the drawing part. And then the um, colors I'm using are titanium white, unbleached titanium, cadmium yellow medium, phthalo green, phthalo blue, burnt sienna and burnt umber and I might end up using ultramarine blue but I didn't put it out because I'm not sure that I'm going to need it so you can look down in the box to see if I end up using it or not okay so this one's gonna I think this one's gonna be a, a cool painting so um and plus since it's beginner um that always makes it a little less scary when you know that it's gonna be easier at least that's what I think it's going to be, so. Um, so, I just drew with my watercolor pencil this line, the horizon line, um, with my ruler. It's like on the third mark. So I just put my ruler up and drew it. Um, I tend to kind of measure how far from the top it is and then do the same thing on the side. And then I'm doing my line so that I make sure that it's even. But sometimes with the cheaper boards, um, if the board is uneven, then that could throw it off too. So, um, let's see. I'm trying to think what I want to do. <clears throat> okay, yeah. I need to draw it out first. <laughs> I was trying to think what was I going to do. Okay, so that line's just on the third where the water's coming. And then the. There's like a sand hill right here that comes down a little bit below, slopes down, and let's see, the sand is about on the, the lower third, it's kind of where it, where it stops, so. If you mark thirds this way, it's not going to come quite to this third. That line's not going to come quite there. And then you're going to see another kind of hill of sand this way. So this is kind of where the path's going down here. And we're going to have like, like posts kind of along the way. Um, showing us where where the uh, path is going. And each one, as it gets closer and bigger, you know, it'll get bigger and it'll also get longer. So, so each one will come like a little bit above where the last one left off. small but 
And then, you know, there's grass kind of all back in here, kind of coming out this way. But we're not going to worry too much about that. We'll just kind of paint it in as we go. So I'm going to get the one inch bright. If you enjoy this video, please um, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I've got several other painting videos for acrylic paintings and um, there are beginner ones and a little bit harder ones. We did an owl last week and it came out so good. I love it. That's probably one of my new favorite, <laughs> favorite ones that I've done on YouTube. It was really neat. Of course, it had like a super, super ugly stage. Most paintings have an ugly stage where it doesn't look like anything and looks really, really bad. It looks really, really bad. It like had, like, you know, like the ear tufts that owls, some owls have. They were yellow at first because I started the background out yellow. And <laughs> so it looked pretty, looked pretty bad. But it got a lot better, so... If you want to check that out, you can go to my channel and it should be on there. Alright, so if I get the um, horizon line a little messed up, I can go back when I do the water and straighten it out. But I just got um, titanium white and phthalo blue. And I'm starting a little darker at the bottom. I'm going to go lighter as I go up. Not a whole lot lighter, but just a little bit. And if you get some like streaks, it'll just kind of look like clouds, so you don't have to like perfectly blend it. But I want to make sure that I like cover the canvas completely up here because I'm only going to need to do this part like the one time. And you can take some like white and kind of put in some clouds here and there. Just kind of make the bottoms flat and the tops the bumpy part. And I'm going to take a little bit, so that was white. I still had some of the colors in my brush, and now I'm going to take a little bit darker and do some darker ones back here. And you don't have to do this, you could just leave it without anything, but these um, dark blue clouds will look farther away. That's kind of how you can do like an easy cloud. my brush out. I don't really have to like completely rinse it out because I'm going to be using blues and stuff anyway. Alright, so now I'm going to get the phthalo blue and really some white so that's okay if I mix it. And then some or the burnt sienna that'll like neutralize it a little bit and it'll kind of make it almost like a changes the color quite a bit it makes it a little bit more green a little bit like a turquoise kind of I'm gonna put that further back here may add a little bit more of the white a little bit dark. I'm not just making sure my horizon line is super straight. Okay, and back 
here where I'm doing it at the moment, here is kind of covered up with grass a little bit. So that part doesn't have to be quite as perfect. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to start going side to side. Since I already have that color in my brush, it'll kind of mix when I start mixing into here. And this brush might be a little bit big for this area. Possibly, I don't know. Might be a little bit hard to get in there. But we want to uh, kind of get in there so that the grass will cover it. So um, I'm just going to go down that far because I know that the grass will kind of be covering that up. So I'm just going to stop right there. Alright. So I'm rinsing my brush out from the blues. Rags a little bit big for this little area I've got over here. <laughs> Alright, so I don't want any blue now. Okay, so it's all washed out pretty good. So, um, and if it just you know have, has a little hint of blue, it's not horrible, but just as long as it doesn't like tint the next paint color really blue. So I'm going to get the unbleached titanium and some white for the sand. Okay, so up in here. kind of getting some of that blue but that little bit's not going to hurt anything. And you can take the unbleached titanium just a little bit of burnt umber to make it slightly darker for when you want to kind of change the color, give it some dark areas. back to the original white color and I'm going to get a little bit more white so now it's very light. I'm going to put that in. It's pretty light color. Ok, 
Okay, so kind of in the middle here it's lighter. Okay, and then I'm going to take some could rinse your brush out, but I think I'm just going to leave it. Take some filigree and some burnt umber. Make a dark green. Maybe a little bit of burnt sienna. So it's dark. And put that... Right now we're just kind of covering up the canvas. Trying to get rid of all the whiteness. Okay, and I'm just going to uh, not come all the way up, but I'm going to flick so I don't have a hard line. If it's like, you know, it's really hard like that, then it's going to be really hard to cover it up later. So I'm going to flick it out. So that's not as far as we're going to go, but I don't want to go all the way to the point where we're going to go or else I'll have to even go further to get these like long blades of grass coming out. kind of growing all in here so I'm just kind of flicking a little bit of that in just kind of marking out where the grass is going to go. Just making sure there's no hard lines. And it's not, you know, it's kind of turning colors, so... Alright, so that's all we're going to do for that part. Um, like I said, this is probably the ugly stage where it doesn't look like anything and you're going to think that it's like never going to look any better. But this is just the first coat. We're having to cover up all of the, uh, the white. Of course, I missed some over there, but we'll get that later. So um, now we're going to dry it because... Um, even the sky looks still kind of wet. But um, I'm going to use my blow uh, hair dryer and blow dry it. Um, just make sure when you use that not to put it on hot. Put it on cold and kind of keep it six to eight inches away um, so that the paint doesn't crack and mess up. Okay, so I'm going to pause and dry it. Okay, so this is dry now, and I decided to add two brushes. Um, I was feeling like I might add more, but I wasn't really sure. Um, so I got the uh, yeah, half inch angle, or you could use like a half inch bright or flat, and then a three fourths, I mean, um, quarter inch filbert granier. For like the grass and stuff. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do another layer on the sand next. So I'm going to take this half inch angle or bright or flat and I'm going to basically take some of the same colors. So some bleached titanium and some burnt umber I like shadowing in here. And a little bit of white. I'm going to put some of that in here. Oh, 
There's some green down there that's still wet. I didn't realize it. All right, I'm gonna get some of the white and unbleached titanium now. That's very really light. I go in here and Unbleached titanium. That's kind of dry already, so it'll show through. A little bit. And I'm not like worried about completely covering up everything I did before, but kind of a second little layer. And get that sand, the sand dunes. All right, okay. Now we can kind of do some fun sand. So I'm going to rinse this brush out and I'm going to get my toothbrush. First I'm going to take my rag or paper towel, whatever you're using, and I'm going to take it and put it across the areas I don't need it <laughs> so I'm just focusing on this don't like press down on it or anything just kind of let it rest there and I'm going to get actually I kind of need this for this step so let me use it and then I'll put it back um, I'm gonna get some white first so I'm gonna thin your white out um, to where it's kind of like milk. Okay. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to lay this out. And spray straight down. So that I'm getting some lighter and darker colored. Uh, white, uh, bigger and smaller, not lighter and darker, bigger and smaller little white dots for the sand. Okay. And if we get some like in the grass, you can tap them off with your rag, but um, I'm not worried too much about it because we're going to go back over. And if you hear a weird noise, there's like a plane going over the house at the moment, so that's what that weird noise is, if you can hear it. Alright, um, now I'm going to take some burnt umber, and remember to water it down. sure I don't get any paint. You might want to use a fresh rag if you're afraid of getting paint on it. Okay, and you're not going to need as many of these because they're darker. Just kind of stick them in there. You can make them smaller, larger. some splatters in there now and I'm going to take my rag and tap off some of these darker ones kind of in the middle because I want the middle to be a little lighter along 
along the actual path. Okay, and you can also use your hand to kind of cover up, so I might do that. Take a little bit of burnt sienna. Kind of like a reddish color. And take some of the unbleached titanium. I might want to mix it with that burnt umber so it's not like red sand. Okay, and then doing some on the side. I'm not as worried about getting it up here because grass is going to be covering that up there. Alright, so that's all we're going to do for the moment for that. I'm going to let those dots kind of dry. And they're so small, they'll probably drop, dry pretty fast, but we can work on something else for the moment. Okay, so I'm going to take my little one fourth inch. Uh, flat here. Dip it in the water and then dry it off so it's damp. And I'm going to take a little bit of the phthalo blue. This is dry already. The phthalo blue and burnt sienna and some white. I want it a little darker than the color we had earlier for the water. So that looks kind of good there. So I don't want a whole lot of paint on my brush. Just a little bit and I'm just kind of kind of dry brush some darker parts in the ocean and I want them to be fuzzy because the focus is on the path not on the beach Kind of scrub some dark in there. All right, now we're going to get the lighter color. I'm just going to add some white to it. And now we want to add some back here, but we want them to be small, so kind of come really small, like that. Try to get up to the edge, too. little bitty white areas to kind of make some highlight it's on the waves As, um, as it gets closer, they can be a little bit bigger. Not too, too big at this point, but they'll still be a little bit bigger than way, way far. And if you get an area that's just like solid color, you can go back with the color that was underneath and kind of cover it up.
just put a little bit more this down here and then we're going to kind of switch colors a little bit. You see we're kind of getting to where it's the same color as the, the rest of the beach. Okay, so now at this point, we're going to want to take like the color that we had before here and take that and put the shadows down in the lighter part. So let's see. I'm going to scrape this off. So this is a glass palette that I'm using. So you can spray, make sure to spray your paint with water too because it'll help it to stay dry, I'm um, wet longer, not dry. It'll help it not to dry out. So this is like the soupy, <laughs> soupy color, but we're gonna just scrape a lot of this off. Since a lot of it's dry or really wet and I'm not gonna need it anymore. All right, so if it's all like soupy like that, you can take your rag and kind of wipe it off. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that soupiness up there because I'm not going to worry about it. Alright, so you can make more of this color. Okay. Um, I'm afraid you can use a um, palette knife to scrape too if you're afraid of cutting yourself. So. I'm going to get the two colors again to make the blue and get the lighter, get light. Okay, so we'll see how that is for the dark. It needs to be a little bit more blue. It's a little too dull. You can um, make the waves a little bit bigger now. Still kind of fading it a little bit. get down further I'm going to lighten it even more it's still going to be a darker color than what we had before but just by just a little bit So now we can work on the lighter. So this lighter that we've had as the darker part for down here, you can just lighten it a little bit more and use it for the light areas up here. because we want it to show up against this light color. All right. 
is like, I'm going to take bright white, and there's like a, a wave that kind of comes over here. I'm going to put that, and it looks like there's one way down here. So, you're not, um, this is kind of where you're seeing it the deepest. There's some tall grass over here, but that's kind of where you're seeing it. Uh, the shore the most, or the closest to the beach where the waves would start happening. It's kind of right in here where you're going to be seeing it. So, and it's not, it's going to be lower than the halfway mark of your water. So, kind of make sure you don't stick it too high or it'll make it look like there's a big ginormous wave way back there. Okay, so now we can work on the sand some more. I'm just going to get a little bit of white and kind of brush it over. You can still see those dark areas, but I'm just going to brush over, making it a little bit lighter. Right in here, because I wanted it lighter where the path is. I'm gonna need some more white, so, oops, sorry about that. Paint bottles falling. Okay, so I'm going to get some more white to stick out. Okay, so I'm still lightening this up. And I'm adding some water, thinning it out a little bit. Um, you could use glazing medium or something, but I'm just thinning it out some so that it will kind of brush over a little easier. So we can work on the grass now. We've got the water pretty much, that's probably done. And then we've got the sand good, so okay, so we're gonna get the quarter inch granier, filbert granier now. And I'm going to Start with a darker color. So I'm going to get the color we had before, the phthalo green and burnt umber. And I'm going to thin it out because with this kind of brush, you need it thinner so that it'll flow off and make grass or fur like texture. Otherwise, it won't do the same effect. So a little bit more water. It's not going as far as I want. You can kind of tap it off on your rag to uh, make sure you've got a good amount. And I'm going to kind of go in the area we already did too just to kind of make it have some grassy texture in there. I need to make a lot more of this because that was not anywhere near enough. You just don't want it too thin though or else it will not work. Um, just, you kind of have to find a balance. If it's like too watery, um, that can not be good either. So let's kind of get a middle, middle value type. Okay, 
You can put it out on its side too if you want some. Go a little bit more thin. You want it to have some long And you don't even need these to be as long as the lighter area. When you do a lighter color, we're going to bring them out further, so. So this goes over the ocean. If you want to get some thicker paint, like, you know, to cover over, because you can see where we stopped, and kind of get some thicker. Probably going to have to go over that later, but you can do that. Okay. are kind of going to the right, like the wind's blowing them. If we go into the sand a little bit, it's okay because there is going to be some grass down there, so we can kind of get away with going a little too far. And so it kind of jumps where there's like none in certain areas here. There's some here that's kind of dark, some dark areas. Okay, so I think. That's what I'm going to do for that part, but now I'm going to get some lighter color, so I'm going to get the green, green and some of the cadmium yellow medium. It still kind of looks like way bright, like that is not natural, so I'm going to get a little bit of burnt umber just to neutralize that color a little bit. You don't want it so, so bright. And I'll get some burnt sienna with it. That'll neutralize it too. It's a little bit like a brown green. to thin it out. This probably takes quite a, it'll probably take quite a bit of time because um, you want to thin it out to the right consistency and get the right colors and so this might take a little longer than it may would if we were using a different brush because we want to thin it out right and 
everything. So, okay, I'm using um, some of this color in here, just in some areas, and then putting it in here too. start this area with some green, brown green. It goes pretty high. One bad thing about this brush is it's kind of hard to see in the camera because you're like right on top of it. So I'm sorry about that. Try to see if I can hold it at an angle where you can see it. Good for that part. All right, so the brush out. All right, and I'm gonna get the quarter inch flat now. And there are some like I don't know if it's like different kinds of grass, but they're not as thin at the tip. So I'm gonna kind of make that so it's the like burnt umber and green and I'm going to add a little bit of phthalo blue and burnt sienna and I'll just kind of make it a different color than the color I've been using for the rest and it's very dark so, um, kind of press your brush flat, and then we're going to go in here and do some it may actually be a little bit too thick. pretty high so yeah, that's all I'm going to do for now the, um, I'd have to cover the C line okay um, we can put in the posts now um, even though we'd probably cover up over a little bit of it with the grass, but we would have a little bit to build on. So I'm going to get the phyllo blue and burnt umber. Make it like a, a dark bluish color. I'm going to start with it pretty dark. I may add a little bit of white to it. So it's kind of like a blue gray. Okay, and there's one kind of in here. And there's one that comes actually a little lower because of the slope that it's at. 
Okay, and then there's one here, comes higher up. And this brush may be a little bit too big for that, this, these little ones. There's one that's like way back here. And there's one that's kind of starts a little bit lower than that last one and then comes up higher. And if you get them like a little bit crooked or something, it'll just like they're look like they're they've been there a while and kind of falling down. Okay, and then this one's a little past the third. It's actually a little skinnier than the, that last one. It comes up just a little bit higher. starts quite a bit lower and stops up higher. It's kind of like uh, the size of this brush, so Picked a good size for this one, just not for that. Not those others, so. Stick those in there. Now we might could work more on the grass, possibly. All right, so I'm gonna get the green ear again, and we're gonna get the yellow and the green, so the cadmium yellow medium and phyllo green. And I'm going to get a little bit of burnt umber, but not as much as last time. I'm just neutralizing it just a little bit. It is brighter green now. going to be some, I may add a little bit of white to it so it'll cover a little better. It's a little bit going over this dark area and I need it more not really making a grass effect like I want, so I want to thin it out a little bit. Okay. Just don't have to worry um, a whole lot about it being perfect because it's still kind of in the ugly part.
can get some of the dark to kind of cover the line between the two. Okay, and then get some of this to cover the line too. can put some down here, even of the dark. You can put a little dark specks around these if you want to. get some of that dark and make some strands sideways or can still see some of it through but still got more layers to do so all right and I think I'll get my small round out now for the posts so I'm gonna get this Let's see I can spray this to keep it wet. I'm going to get some white with it. I'm do a little bit of brown. Okay, and I'm gonna try to not have a whole lot of paint on your brush and just kind of skim some of the lighter color on there. too far so Do 
I'll use a bigger brush for this, but since I already have it, I'm just gonna. So I just made it a little lighter, and then I can add some the brown colors. the gray make sure you don't have a whole lot of the paint on your brush because if you do it would kind of start blobbing instead of doing what we want it to do we're going to take some unbleached titanium and some yellow and some brown. Make like a yellow color. And there's like some yellow down here. And the ends. Some of these. grass and see how much time I've been going. So an hour. I was hoping to be done in an hour, but we're almost done. So just need to get the finishing details. So I'm going to need unbleached titanium, um, phthalo green, cadmium yellow medium, and some burnt umber to get it neutralized. Went like a yellowy green. And go in different directions now. wild because grass can go in you know several different directions and everything so again Still want some darker areas though. And we'll add some in here. some kind of this small grass in front of the bigger grass too. To cover up this area here now and kind of bring some further down so it's like not all just in one area. Okay and then 
more cadmium, yellow medium, and unleashed titanium. This will be like the bright, bright, bright color. We just want like a little, little bit of that. Because we don't want it to overpower the painting. add some of the lighter color to mute it a little bit when it gets too bright. Okay, we're just going to put some on Pretty good. I wanted to do this video fast so you could still kind of tweak it um, a little bit, but I'm not going to just spend forever messing with it like I might would if I wasn't filming it. Okay. Now we can work on the posts. This lasts a little bit. And I'm going to get some more white, these colors, and we're going to do some on the right of the post, we're not going to do it on the other side. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit on the left. Sorry, I haven't been saying a whole lot. Okay, put a little bit on that side. And then, let's see, I got a little bit of this color too far on the grass, so I'm just going to cover it up. Alright, and I'm going to mix a dark color, darker than our first layer with the burnt umber and uh, phthalo blue. I'm going to put some like streaks in the wood and dark spots. You 
just kind of putting some streaks like uh, like it's cracking and dark areas with that. Okay, so let me look at it. Okay, so there's just one last thing we need to do, and that is the wire that's going in between them. So I'm going to get some white with this gray color, some unbleached titanium, and it's like super, super, super small. So um, you may um, completely take this part out if you're scared of doing small lines. This brush probably is actually a little bit too big, but and if it doesn't go all the way across, uh, that's okay because it'll just kind of look like you just can't see it at the moment. And then boom, there it is again. So, so this one kind of goes down. Let me see if I can zoom in. There you go. So you can kind of see the lines now better. Now I need to remember that I'm zoomed in. I tend to forget forget that. And there's one that kind of goes across this way and then you're like not seeing where it goes to. This way. Okay, so I can zoom back out just a little. Let's scoot everything over so you can see this one. a little bit more. Go. And I think there's some coming off the edge. Let's see if I can move my brushes over so I can scoot it over just a little bit more. So I'm just going to take it and come off of the board. So you could leave this part off, I guess, if you're afraid, if you're a beginner and you're afraid of doing little bitty lines, but this really like pulls it all. This is like the finishing detail that really makes it like a finished painting. So you could leave that out and just make it posts, but if you can do this, that would make it look really cool. So, all right, so there's our beach path. Um, I hope that you enjoyed watching and painting if you were painting along. Um, I'm just here to take my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen to sign it. Make sure you go at least a fingers with the away from the bottom. I've been preparing to varnish my paintings from these videos and I'm pulling them all out and it's like my goodness you don't realize how many paintings you do when you do them like once a week you don't realize how you know how much that gets stocked up really fast. <laughs> so there's our Beach path, it actually came out really cool. I like it. Um, you could see, I might take a little bit more of this light green, go over the um, line, cover the line a little bit more because I don't like seeing that. Now that it's dry, you can actually see it. 
better. There we go. All right, so there's the. So oh, I hope you enjoyed it. That you paint it um, with me. Um, so yeah, because it was it was really fun. Um, here I go messing with it again. There's some over here that I need to get. Probably gonna keep seeing it more and more, but as I keep going. Yeah, normally I would like keep, you know, try to really get everything really, really good if I was doing it like for me. But when it's the videos, I don't wanna like keep messing with it and keep messing with it and start make y'all start getting bored of watching me just keep going over the same area over and over again. But um, there's the pad there and you could take your little um, round brush and get like some burnt umber and kind of put some dots of sand. There's like some pebbles or something that is kind of in here around some of these bigger holes. So you get like some of the unbleached titanium and kind of do some of those too. Let me get look like the sand is kind of coming up on it. All right, so there you go. That kind of add some detail to it too. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the only painting we, the last painting we have for July is the Eiffel Tower. It's definitely going to be a harder one. I'm kind of scared of it myself, but um, we've already done these. This is the owl, um, the picture from the owl that we painted last week that came out really, really cool looking. And then um, this dolphin was a little bit more of an easier painting. And then you had the blue flowers, um, poppy like flowers, so um, you can check those out on my channel and the Eiffel Tower may already be out if you're watching this like a week after this one came out, the other one would probably be out too, so uh, you can just click on my channel name and it'll bring you there. So I hope you enjoyed it and that you paint along, so thanks for watching, bye.